When a jazz pianist and an aspiring actress fall in love, they encourage each other to follow their dreams, but when their careers begin to take off, they must choose between their love and passions. The story begins in terrible Los Angeles traffic sometime in winter. We meet a lady named Mia, who's currently stuck in traffic. She decides to use the time to rehearse for her acting audition later that day. Suddenly, she's interrupted by the blaring horn from behind her. Turns out the other cars had started moving, but she didn't notice. The hasty guy with road rage is Sebastian or Seb for short. He drives past her and stares her down for wasting his time, but she just flips him off as he speeds away. Later, she goes to the coffee shop where she works as a barista. Her alarm goes off sometime in the afternoon, reminding her about her audition so she closes for the day, but in her haste, she bumps into someone who spills coffee on her shirt. The scene shifts to her audition, and we see that Mia is wearing a raincoat to cover the coffee stain. She gives her all and performs the emotional scene for the audition, but unfortunately, she doesn't get the role. She goes home disappointed and plans to stay home all night. However, her friends, who live in the same house as her, refuse to let her wallow in self-pity all night, and they invite her to a lavish party. Initially, she's reluctant to get up, but they pick out a beautiful dress for her and convince her that someone in the crowd might be the one to help her kickstart her acting career. She goes to the party with her girlfriends and has a good time, although there isn't anyone there who helps with her career. To make things worse, she comes out to find out her car has been towed away, so she has no choice but to walk home since it's quite late. Along the way, she gets to a restaurant and hears one of the most beautiful tunes ever played on a piano. The music draws her, and when she enters the club, she's surprised to see a rather familiar face. The scene shifts back to Seb, the grumpy guy from earlier. He's a jazz pianist and a very good one at that. We see that after his little encounter with Mia, he got home to meet a not-so-pleasant surprise. His nosy sister, Laura, is waiting for him in his apartment. She advises him to get his life back on track after some obstacles in his career since the former jazz club he worked at got transformed into something else. She tells him to unpack his boxes, but he tells her that he's just taking life one step at a time and hoping to own a jazz club soon. Later that evening, we see Seb at the restaurant. His boss strictly tells him to only play the traditional Christmas songs and Seb reluctantly agrees. However, when he starts playing, he goes against the orders and slips into a jazz improvisation. Sure, it's a beautiful performance, but it's not what the boss wants, so after playing, he gets fired. Meanwhile, Mia, who was watching in awe as he played, tries to compliment his talent, but he just walks past her, ignoring her and leaving her quite bewildered. Months later, it's spring and Mia runs into Seb at a pool party where he's now playing in a cover band. He looks a bit miserable, but since that's his best shot at earning money, he doesn't have a choice. She uses the opportunity to get back at Seb and requests a song to spite him. After the party, Mia calls out to Seb and asks her to help get her car key. He hesitantly plays along because he sees that she's trying to get away from her boyfriend, who won't just stop talking to her. They walk together to their cars and talk about how they could never be together, wasting a lovely night while ignoring the chemistry between them when it's obvious they're attracted to each other. A few days later, Seb visits the coffee shop where Mia works. She spends her break with him, exploring some of the movie sets around. Mia reveals that she quit law school to pursue her acting career, and Seb asks her why she started acting. She tells him that it was her aunt, who was an actress, that sparked the passion in her. When Mia tells Seb that she doesn't like jazz, he decides to change her mind by taking her to a jazz club. There, he tells her that he feels jazz is dying, and that's why he wants to own a club where everyone can play pure jazz. Afterward, Seb invites her to a movie screening and she accepts but forgets that she has a date with her boyfriend Greg on that date. When the day arrives, Mia goes on a date with her boyfriend but suddenly hears Seb's jazz playing. At that point, she decides that she can't stay at the dinner anymore and rushes to go meet Seb at the theater. The movie is however cut short due to a projector malfunction so Mia comes up with an idea. The two spend the rest of the evening at the location where the movie was filmed. By fall, Mia and Seb are dating. He shows her the true beauty of jazz, and before she knows it, she's just as in love with it as he is. After yet another failed audition, Mia decides to take Seb's advice and write a play of her own. Mia begins suggesting names for Seb's jazz club when he eventually owns one. One day, Seb overhears Mia trying to convince her mother that he's going to be successful, so he decides to join an old friend Keith in his band so he can earn a steady income and speed up his dream of owning a jazz club. Although Keith's jazz seems to have been diluted with pop style, Seb decides to stick with it because of the money. Keith's band is a huge success, and Seb ends up going on tours with them, which takes him and Mia farther away from each other. While Seb is busy with the band, Mia is engrossed in the one-woman play that she's writing, 
and soon they don't have much time for each other anymore. One night, however, Seb prepares a surprise dinner for Mia, and she's delighted to see him home, even if it's for only one night. He suggests that she come with him on tour, but she reminds him that her play is just around the corner. When Seb talks about being with the band long term, Mia accuses him of abandoning his dream, and it leads to them arguing and saying hurtful things to each other, with Seb claiming that Mia only liked him when he wasn't successful. Two weeks later, Seb gets distracted by a photo shoot with the band and misses Mia's play. To make things worse, the turnup was low, and she overheard people saying mean things about her. Seb eventually leaves the shoot and rushes to Mia, but when he gets there, it's too late. She tells him that she's giving up on acting. That night, Mia breaks up with Seb and moves back to her parents' home in Nevada. A few weeks later, Seb receives a renowned casting director who attended Mia's play and liked it. The director wants Mia to audition for an upcoming big movie. Thanks to their time together, Seb remembers the description of her parents' home that Mia gave him, and so he travels there to inform her, disturbing the neighbors in the process. He tells her about it, but she refuses to go for the audition, claiming it would just be another failure that would hurt her even more. She talks about how she plans to go back to school and do something else with her life, but Seb refuses to let her throw away the opportunity. He tells her to be ready in the morning because he's coming to take her. Sure enough, the next day, Seb arrives at the house, and Mia doesn't disappoint him either. They go for the audition, and the director tells Mia the movie would be set in Paris. For the audition, they ask her to tell a story, so she tells them the story of her aunt who was an actress that received in Paris. After the audition, Seb is confident that Mia would get the role and encourages her to give it her all. They finally talk about their relationship, and they both agree that it's best they go their separate ways and follow their dreams. Seb decides to leave Keith's band and open his own club while Mia continues her acting career. Five years later, Mia, who is now a famous actress, returns to the coffee shop where she once worked to get two coffees. She goes home to her husband and daughter who she left in Los Angeles while she was filming in New York. Meanwhile, Seb has also finally opened his own jazz club and is now a successful musician. At night, Mia and her husband go out for dinner, and when the traffic gets too much, they decide to get dinner somewhere else. They enter the restaurant, and Mia is taken aback when she sees the name she came up with for Seb's club years ago. The club is packed and filled with all of the pictures and frames he had in his apartment. When Seb locks eyes with her, he goes breathless for a brief moment, seeing her with her husband. He pulls himself together and performs a beautiful song. As Mia listens to him play their song on the piano, she fantasizes about a world where things happen differently and their relationship flourished along their careers. But when he finishes playing, she comes back to reality. The story ends with Mia leaving the club, but not before she and Seb silently acknowledge each other. That's all for today's recap. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.